everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Callie and I just started my YouTube channel recently. So I make videos on motherhood, cleaning, lifestyle, and for today's video I'm going to be doing my first ever after work one room clean with me. I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and join me here on my little channel in this YouTube world. Thank you so much for watching and let's get into the video. When I know I'm going to be powering through a cleaning task, I always like to start with putting on my diffuser and adding some essential oils to keep me motivated and also help with making the room smell fresh and clean. On this day, I got home from work and changed into some comfy clothes to clean in and my son and husband went outside in the backyard to play so that I could get our master bedroom cleaned up. I always feel like we focus so much attention on the living space and then also the kitchen. I mean, let's face it, I have a two year old and he is an expert at making a total disaster of the living room with his toys. So. I always kind of feel like our master bedroom gets neglected and you know, it's our sanctuary. And I just really wanted to tackle this master bedroom and get it kind of cleaned up. If you can't tell, I am currently pregnant and we are expecting a baby girl in September. So that's why we have the bassinet crib set up in the corner there. We had tra already transitioned um, my son Dalton into a big boy bed because we didn't want all of the transitions to happen all at once with the new baby coming. We wanted to space them out a little bit. So first we moved him into a larger room then we upgraded his bed, um, and then in September, the baby will come. But we didn't want to haul the crib all the way up to the attic, so we just went ahead and got it set up in the room. But for now, <laughs> most of the time, it just holds pillows while I'm making the bed, or when we go to bed at night, we'll throw them in there. typically don't mind making the bed. It's actually one of my favorite um, cleaning tasks to tackle because I just love the feeling of fresh, clean sheets. But I'll tell you what, when you are pregnant and especially like in your second and third trimester, it's hard. I mean, you already can't breathe. And then our bed is actually pretty low to the ground. So it's a lot of bending like up and down and lifting of the mattress and it wears me out. I have to like tackle it first thing when I when I'm doing tasks in the room because otherwise I'm just too exhausted at the end of it. Let me know what that one task is below in the comments that just wear like takes it out of you in your cleaning routine so you know you got to do it first thing cuz at the end you won't want to tackle it. I also love spraying down our sheets and pillows with a beautiful linen spray. This one is actually from the Grove Collaborative site. It is from Caldrea and it's the Gilded Balsam Birch, I think is the full name. And I love the scent of it. It's very woodsy. Um, and I, I originally got it around um, Christmas time in the winter, but I just love it all the time. Next up, I'm gonna make my own linen spray with some essential oils that I've been loving. So I can't wait to play around with those and test those out. Vibrating for you now There's something more 
We have a ranch style home that was built in the late 1950s and it has these awesome built-in closets in every room. So my husband and I each have our own side in the bedroom and they have cabinets up above and drawers down below. So that's what I'm putting into, looks like I'm putting into the wall there. And yes, I'm watching a little bit of Grey's Anatomy while I clean. I always like to have something on in the background. Usually, sometimes I'll put on music, but most of the time I just like to have a TV show on that I've seen so many times that I'm not even really paying attention to. It's just kind of like white noise in the background. So love Netflix and Grey's Anatomy for that. I'm using the Method Wood for Good Daily Cleaner on the wood surfaces here. If you've seen my other cleaning video, you'll know that I'm kind of going through this product and transitioning to a more plant-based cleaning product. Uh, but I have this one and then also the Mrs. Myers their all-purpose cleaner. It's actually in the... Um, apple cider scent because I was saving it for next fall but since I'm transitioning over all of my products to something that's a bit more cleaner um, I'm just kind of using up all the products and so I can ditch and switch and I cannot wait to start using my new stuff And yes, I am sitting on the bed to clean my nightstand because pregnancy. <laughs> I got this mid-century desk at a thrift store and it actually has a glass top on it. I think probably just to protect the wood surface, the desktop, but I am using the Grove Collaborative, um, their glass cleaner concentrate. It just comes in packets. You open it up, you pour it in a 16 ounce bottle and add water. So those are really nice and convenient. I'll be switching this as well because with the new products, the Thieves Cleaner that I'm bringing in, I'll only have to use one cleaner concentrate for everything, for glass, for all purpose, for tile, tub, toilet, everything. So I'll only have one product. But until then, just using it up and I love these convenient little Grove Collaborative concentrates that they have. And using my beloved Dyson cordless vacuum here. I love this thing. It was a great investment and our whole entire house has wood floors. So it's perfect in our little space. So that wraps it up for this video. Like I said, this was after work one evening. So I was able to come home and tackle the bedroom and get this cleaned up and tidied up for us. And I was so grateful that I was able to do this because I could not wait to get into bed this evening and just snuggle into a clean bed and sleep so much better knowing with peace of mind that my bedroom wasn't going to be a complete disaster when I woke up the next morning. I truly hope that you enjoyed this video and will subscribe to my channel. If you have any ideas for future videos, please leave them in the comments below.
Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye y'all.